One o'clock in the morning near 39th and Curtis, lights from police cruisers help officers locate evidence of multiple shots fired. Shot spotter notified police of 26 rounds fired in the area, followed by seven additional rounds. A total of 33 shots were fired. When the sun came up, you could see that one house on the block took most of the gunfire. This house riddled with bullets. The glass door shot out. Police say the bullets flew into the house and damaged property inside. It's somewhat of a miracle that no one was hurt. As soon as we hear about it, we Johnny on the spot because the community know. The community know this, this block was shot up last night. It didn't take long for a U-turn to get to the scene to promote their message of nonviolence. Members of U-Turn get out on the streets and work the hot spots so things don't get hotter. So what we do is we canvass the neighborhood, see can we uh, get ahead of some conflict and try to talk some people out of for somebody to lose their light. Ron Smith is U-Turn street manager. He knows what goes on out here because at one point in his life he was in the streets. He knows an event that causes property damage can turn fatal in a hurry. We work through our, our relationships in the community. Um, so it's really important because we might know somebody that can talk to somebody and we might even get a chance to squash it. The shooting happened about 100 yards away from an elementary school. People who live in the area say this neighborhood is a known hotspot. This is a known uh, gang area over here, 39th and Cal uh, Curtis, 36th and Curtis. Yeah, you know, everybody know it, 42nd and Curtis, you know, it can be hot at any given time. U-Turn works with high-risk young people, hoping to turn them around and change their behavior and Smith believes it was young people who might have been behind this act of violence. It's because them young folks doing all that shooting, man. I don't think it's grown people, but that's what we do. We, we're a violent prevention organization. That's how we get out. On your side in Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News.